Hello, welcome to part one of our Leo Basics Guide. Reminder that this is game version 4.2. This first part, we will be focusing on essential moves. In part two, we'll talk about basic or common game plan elements. Then finally, in part three, we'll go over some referential items like punishers and combos. A quick note that these guides are meant for beginners or those looking for the briefest of overviews on how a character functions. If you're brand new to Tekken and don't understand all of the terminology, jargon, and so forth, I highly recommend the Tekken 7 System Basics Guide on this channel, which is broken into six parts for easier viewing. You can find links to those as well as a couple of other good beginner resources in the video description below. At the very least, take a look at notation so that you can follow along easier. And as always, there's a link to the written version of this guide down there too, should you need it. That's it, so let's talk about the sadly unpopular Leo Kleisen. As usual, we'll talk about stances in part two, including her crouch dash, full crouch, and wall standing move. Leo's 1-2 is mostly standard, but she has two string extensions that serve as nice checks. 1-2-4 ends low and on counter hit will knock down. 1-2-1-1 and 1-2-1-4 work similarly in that if the second or third hit connects counter hit, the fourth is guaranteed. Since all of these yield sizable reward, especially at the wall, you get a lot of initiative back on her 1-2. Standing 4 is a safe I-12 that gives a mini combo on counter hit. Not nearly as good as your standard magic 4, but still a quick rangy counter hit tool. 1 plus 2 is an I-25 mid power crush, negative 12 on block, knockdown, splat on hit. Not a great power crush, but it's her only power crush from neutral, so worth noting for that reason. 4-2 is a safe I-14 high poke. 4-2-2 two, two is usually reserved for punishing, however you can delay it, and on counter hit, the second hit gives a free 4-4-3 four, four, into Bach 2. Regardless, 4-2-2 two, two is a chunky natural combo and gives plus 8 on hit. 4-3 is an I-20 power high, 0 on block, 4-3 down takes you to Bach at plus 1, which you'll see a lot, knock down on counter hit for a mini combo, or free grounded hit for 4-3 down. 4-4 is an I-17 mid poke, automatically goes to K&K, but at plus 9, so although you're forced into K&K, the turn is definitely still yours. Massive plus 15G on hit, and on counter hit, it gives a little pop-up stun from which you can juggle. You can confirm this, by the way, so overall a strong move if you like K&K. Forward 1 plus 2 is an I-17 mid wall bouncer, negative 14 on block, so it is risky, but it has really good range for its speed, and it does a ton of damage. Down forward 1 is an I-13 mid poke, negative 1 on block, plus 7 on hit. Down forward 1-2 is a slightly delayable knockdown extension for more cover. Sadly, it's only a natural combo on counter hit, it ends high, and it doesn't jail on normal hit, but still gives you more initiative on down forward 1. Down forward 2 is an I-15 rangy mid launcher, negative 13 on block. This is your go-to punisher, especially for whiffs, so always keep this locked and loaded. Won't launch crouchers though, just like generic down forward 2. Down forward 3 is a safe I-17 mid homing kick, knockdown splat on hit, fast for a homing mid but it's also her only homing attack from neutral. Since Leo is a fairly linear character, this move is important for that reason. Down forward 4 is a safe I-13 mid poke, worse frames than down forward 1 but better range in return. Down forward 2 plus 3 is an I-23 power low, only negative 12 on block, plus 5 on hit, knockdown on counter hit for a free follow up. It is a bit slow, so rather than working it as a pure mix up tool, use it for the high crush. Just try not to abuse it. Down 1 is an I-18 mid power poke, really good range, only negative 2 on block, forces crouch on hit, and gives a counter hit juggle. You can hold down to recover full crouch yourself as well. Extremely versatile move. Down 2 is an I-21 power mid, plus 4 on block, plus 6 on hit, knock down on counter hit for a free grounded follow up. This is a primary block pressure tool so you'll see it a lot. Down 4 is an I-16 low poke, not great damage but it has good range and hits grounded. Only negative 12 on block and negative 1 on hit so works well as a setup tool. If you're feeling lucky, down 4 2 is a natural combo on counter hit but ends high so it is risky. Works well with her key charge though. Down back 2-2 is an I-14 high mid natural combo. The second hit is only negative 4 on block, plus 8 on hit and forces crouch. Can be delayed and if the second hit connects counter hit, it slams for a free ground hit. Starts high which is its big weakness but still good overall. Down back 3 is a safe big launcher. Crushes highs for a brief moment which is important since it's really slow and high but it's a great setup tool. 
Down back 4-1 is an I-20 low mid knockdown string. High crush is at frame 10, so a little late, but this is your big low threat. Down back 4 by itself will only knock down on counter hit, but it can juggle in that instance, and it's still plus frames on normal hit, so you don't always have to finish it if you don't want to. Down back 1 plus 2 1 is an I-21 mid mid natural combo. You can delay and confirm it. The first hit is safe if you want to use it like a poke, but the second hit will knock down or splat. At only negative 12, this becomes really dangerous at the wall, but also useful as a mix to down back 4 1 since it's roughly the same speed. Back 1-4 is an I-18 mid-mid string, natural combo on counter hit. The second hit is the same move as forward 4, so it goes to K and K automatically, same frames, and the counter hit juggle. Very common for that purpose. Back 2 is an I-15 mid poke. Two follow-ups that are both natural combos. Back 2 1 ends high, but it is safe on block. Back 2 1 plus 2 ends mid, negative 11 on block, but forces crouch, so very few characters will rough you up for that. Solid poke string overall. Back 4 1 plus 2 is an I-18 mid mid natural combo. Wall bounces and only negative 12 on block. You can also cancel the second hit into full crouch with down. It can be delayed and confirmed if you're a god. The cancel actually works as an easier kind of confirm, so do back 4 1 plus 2 and if you see the back 4 blocked, then press down to cancel it. Back 1 plus 4 is an I-19 high low, plus 3 on hit, plus 16 on counter hit for a free back 2 1 plus 2. Technically down forward 2 is free as well, but since it forces crouch it won't launch and up forward 4 won't reach. Like Julia's or Josie's, blocking or parrying the low is the best defensive option, and the low is negative 13 on block. Up 4-3 is a safe I-17 knockdown splatting low crushing mid kick, really good range too, it checks off a lot of boxes, so very useful. Up forward 4 is an I-15 low crushing mid launcher, negative 13 on block, good for all the reasons a hop kick is normally good. Up forward 3 plus 4 is an I-24 safe mid counter hit launcher, essentially her version of an orbital, big active window, only 0 on block, still plus 6 on normal hit and forces crouch, hits grounded so it's an amazing oki tool. Forward 4 2 is a safe I 14 long range power mid, knockdown splat on hit, simple to use but also easily one of her best moves. Forward 4 3 is an I 26 low crushing power mid, always safe but can be plus on block if you press down to go to Bach, which is common. Big active window, so the farther out it hits, the more advantage you'll get. Knockdown on hit for a free grounded follow up. Running 3 is an I-23 low crushing power mid, big active window, minimum plus 9 on block, knockdown splat on hit. Great pressure tool just like all generic like running 3s. Leo's Rage Drive is simply a souped up version of her 442, 1 frame faster at I-13, plus 6 on block, knockdown splat on hit, and splats from way out. Again, simple tool but extremely good. Lastly, not really essential, but something fun and by no means bad, and that is Leo's key charge specials. First, when Leo key charges, she gains a new extension from her back 3 and down back 4 strings, giving you a damage boost if you land them, and potentially some bonus block damage. But she also has a couple of unique ways to key charge to begin with, making this more viable. If you press 1 plus 2 when forward forward 2, up forward 1 2, or down forward 2 hits, Leo will flow immediately into a key charge, and note that this only happens on on hit, it won't work on block. Obviously this is significantly faster than doing just a normal neutral key charge, so it actually provides you with real key charge pressure, which in turn gives you some nasty mix up potential since a key charge of course guarantees that your next hit is a counter hit. This brings us to the end of part 1. We hope this list helps you focus on Leo's most important neutral moves. In part 2, we'll jump into the stances and try to help a little bit in putting it all together. Expect that here in a couple of days. And with that, thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Also be sure to turn on notifications if you'd like to get alerted as soon as a new vid is uploaded. I also try to stream whenever I can, so the link to Twitch is down in the video description below. You will find Twitter and Facebook links down there too. Lastly, special thanks to our three patrons, Tato, Apples, and Overhaul. That support means a lot. Patreon is definitely the best way to support your favorite content creators, and the more support the channel gets, the more content I can afford to do. Stay safe everyone, and we'll see you next time.